Good morning everybody, happy October, the first day of October today, um, autumn is well and truly on its way. This is a video full of information for you, including the reveal of our new People Parliament members. Well done to everybody um, that has taken part in this, the voting process, the election process and those that have been successful. Have a great weekend, stay safe um, and I'll see you all next week. Take care. I am really pleased to be announcing the Pupil Parliament representatives for this year. In these next few slides you will see what the role of our Ministers is and also who the Minister is for this year. Well done to everybody that's been elected, your badges will be with you soon and what an important job and role you have for us at Wren's Nest over the next school year. A big well done. Just a reminder for you of the different ministers we will have this year. Um, each year group has specific roles to best suit the children's age and ability. And you can see here varying right from our primary minister and deputy primary minister, right through to our attendance ministers, a chancellor who looks after all the money and a wellbeing minister. Lots of roles to be filled with wonderful children. Over the next few slides, you will see each role within our People Parliament, the job title within the Parliament, also the year group in which the children that have been elected have been chosen from, the roles and responsibilities they have in school, and also who that minister is. A big well done to everybody that's been elected. Thank you everybody for voting um, in classes and thank you for choosing these ministers. I am sure they will do us as a school very, very proud and we are very proud of what they've achieved. So a well done to everybody who have become our new Pupil Parliament for 2021-2022. I hope you've enjoyed the reveal of our Pupil Parliament for this year. If you need any help from any of these ministers, please ask Miss Wire and she can raise it at their next meeting. Um, and they're there to help us and there to help us continue to improve Wren's Nest and make it the best they can be. Well done to all of you new ministers. Thank you to all of you who have brought in donations and offered your kindness through bringing in things for our local food bank and um, today was our last day of bringing things in and the next slide shows just the wonderful amount of things and food parcels that have been collected so that we as a school can continue to help others. Now for some information about this term's parents' evenings. This term's parents' evenings will take place on Tuesday the 5th of October for Year 1 and 2, Rainbow Room and Sunflowers. And then on Wednesday the 6th of October, parents' evening will take place for Years 3, 4, 5, 6, Pumas, Shooting Stars and The Pod. Early years, um, children and families, your teachers and staff within the early years will be in touch with you about your appointment times. So watch this space.
So just a little bit about how this will work. An appointment invitation will be given to your child by their teacher to bring home to you. These times have been allocated by myself and the senior leadership team. Um, this is just because we know majority of you um, if you need an earlier or a late appointment for whatever reason. Um, an appointment system. We've continued to use the appointment system due to your feedback from parents' evenings. Um, that took place during the COVID-19 period um, and the success they had. It was definitely felt the preferred option was to have appointments to reduce waiting time. So that's what we've stuck to as we've moved into a new academic year um, and we've kept that appointment system that seems so successful. So appointments are from 3.45 until around 6pm. Uh, we're asking for only two parents or carers or family members to attend. And just like before, you'll take a seat outside your child's teacher's classroom and your teaching child's teaching assistant will share your child's books with you. What a wonderful way to celebrate what your child's achieved since the start of the year. There'll only be yourselves as family members um, with your child's class teacher and teaching assistant and we'll ensure that we're very health aware at all times, keeping you safe and enable a private conversation about your child with your child's class teacher. Um, we've seen the success of this. We know this works for many of you. Um, that's why we've, we've kept this process um, in place as we move forward this year. This is the slip your child will bring home if your parents' evening is on Tuesday the 5th of October. And this is the slip your child will bring home to you if your appointment is on Wednesday the 6th of October. Please remember for both evenings to fill out the return slip just at the end, uh, at the end part of this slip. Keep the longer piece to put on your fridge at home or somewhere safe to remind you about this evening, um, an evening of celebration. Um, and if we haven't re received this return piece of paper, we will of course contact you to just ensure that you are going to be making the parents' evening for your child. Again, this parents' evening we'll be offering our book fair for you to come and browse. I am really disappointed that I can't offer tea and coffee um, this time, but hopefully in the spring term, I look forward to doing that for you all to come and sit and have a cup of tea and coffee with us whilst you wait for your appointment um, and to, ha to share and talk uh, and see all the wonderful things that are going on in the community. Hopefully in the spring term, but for now, uh, we won't be offering tea and coffee, but there will be a book fair for you to come and have a look at. As you know, we have been celebrating Readers of the Week at Wren's Nest. These are children that are trying really hard and achieving well within their reading. Whether that's learning a new sound in phonics or beginning to blend letters together to read words, or whether that's exploring a new genre to read for pleasure. We want to celebrate all of you. This is something that we are really passionate at, about at Wren's Nest um, and we are supporting the children in school to work really hard on to achieve great results within literacy. Let's see who our readers of the week are this week. Well done to all of you, our excellent readers, trying really hard to read new words, learn new sounds, read new genres of books, but also develop your understanding of what you are reading. Right across our school, lots of different skills gained to be able to read. Um, a huge well done to you. We are proud of you. Keep up the excellent work. Now for our Mathematicians of the Week, let's see who they are in early years, key stage one, and who are rock stars of the week? Who's been on TT rock stars um, in key stage two, that's years three, four, five and six? Not only are we celebrating academic achievement and progress in literacy and maths, 
Um, we're also celebrating our super scientists at Wren's Nest. So well done to all of you who have tried and tested things, found out how things work and found out the way in which things in our world work the way they do. Well done to all of you. Keep up the excellent science work. I know Miss Wire is very proud of you. Congratulations to this week's VIPs. These are children who we see as role models in school for other children, both in their behaviour, through their effort, and also achievement in class. Well done to all of you. Congratulations. Well done to our winners this week. What great attendance you've achieved. Attendance is really important to us. Uh, it always has been at Wren's Nest because we like you at school every single day and as parents you support us in that, bringing your children to school every day, uh, getting them up, getting them out, um, it can be really hard but thank you very much for supporting us in, in great attendance and this is what we want to focus on this year after a very difficult year last year um, for attendance in schools we want Wren's Nest attendance to be amazing and wonderful and thank you for supporting us with that to support communication during the lockdown period for those of you working at home we created the email addresses for each of the year groups um, at school these are still available so please if you need to speak to your teacher or you want to drop them an email whether that's to ask them about something that you've done in school or whether you want to ask them about homework they've set you or you just want to tell them about something wonderful that you've done why not drop them an email and um, they'd love to hear from you as always, please stay connected, pass on any information you receive to people that you know who don't receive it um, and Parent Hub and the school website are the best places to go to access the most up-to-date information. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Lots of ways you are able to contact us now. We've got various email addresses, as you've seen in the previous slides. And we've also got our info address um, that you can get any questions or queries to me directly. Um, school telephone line, as always, you're welcome to call us and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and also the school mobile. That is there for you to call should you need to. And if you'd like to WhatsApp any work, uh, your child's done at home you are more than welcome to that function is still available but you know we've got a very very clear open door policy at Wren's Nest we're always here to help you um, and somebody is always there um, should you need them so please if you need us don't hesitate to contact us um, and don't ever think a question is too small um, to ask that's what we're here for I hope you've enjoyed our celebration slides this week and sharing in these as a Wren's Nest community. It's become our phrase really during the period of um, the last 12 months. But Wren's Nest is here for you. It always has been and it always will be. So if you, if you do need anything, you or your child or your family, and we can help in any way, please don't ever hesitate to contact us. Um, we are here for all of you and we're all in this together. Have a great weekend. I will see you all next week. Thank you for your ongoing support. Take care.